So I'm off for a race in a minute. I found Sue. She's got a YouTube video up. Not of me. It looks like looks like of knitting. So what? Sue, are you coming to the race? So, first of all, it's not knitting. It's crochet. Oh. <laughs> and I'm just trying to teach myself off of a YouTube video, and I've gotten a little bit wrong. But no, my darling, I'm not because you're going to that magical place called the track, aren't you? Wimbledon. You like it, Wimbledon? Uh, it's a track, Tim. And also, when I asked you this morning, you're going to run 400, aren't you? Is that not just once around the track? It is a bit like Phil York said. Why do you do short races these days, Phil? You said they're over quicker. So maybe that's the secret for us older runners who do shorter races. So okay. I, I'm going to honour my commitment and my promise that I'll come to the track with you. But I think you need to go around more than once, really, to sort of make that an outing that's worth its, that's worth its effort. We've got the Elmbridge 10k on Sunday. That's at the tr starts at the track. Uh, <laughs> uh, I think you might find I'm otherwise busy, aren't I? Trying to help sort oh. mummy and all the bits out. Wow. So, and also, I've really got to come to terms with the crochet term. Mm -hmm. So, how many um, subscribers is. Oh, she's got more than me. 407k subscribers, Blossom Crochet. Oh, it's very popular, Tim. Mm -hmm. mm. That's obviously where I'm going wrong. <laughs> <laughs> well, that not going fast enough. Mm. All right then. <laughs> so, comment for YouTube. Sorry, I would say well run, but you're actually walking, aren't <laughs> well you? Well walked, I like yeah, this yeah, yeah. Probably welcome going to Wilmington Park, as alluded to just before. Then I got a 400 meter race tonight. My first 400 meter race for three years. So I'm going to go from 400 to marathon in one year. Not a bad range of distances. I think I was last tip before Wimbledon started, and now arriving the day after it finished. I think this is probably our last vets league because we're only going to have three this year. I think the, the, the fourth one got rained off, or it would have been the first one. Anyways, I thought I'd try a 400 because of a bit of fun, and the club record is 67.5 for the M55. So I think I've got like half a chance of that because I did 62.59 three years ago, if you remember my sub 60 sort of series, which I didn't quite manage to do. I haven't done one since. So obviously I haven't been training for this at all. And my fastest 400 meter this season was the first lap of the 800 the other week when I did about a 71. So I need to find quite a few more seconds, don't I? But obviously with the 400, it's going to be basically like all out for the gun and see how far I can get. And I hope I don't break anything. I'm just going to go with the dragonflies. I thought um, I've got a couple of more aggressive spikes, but it doesn't seem to be a much point in trying to sort of kill myself in something <laughs> that uh, maybe not for me. And I did use the dragonflies three years ago when I did the 62.59 and that really did hurt. I got to about 300, probably on a course for about a sub 60 and all that last 100 was really, really painful. So I don't think it's going to be any better today, but um, I haven't done many 400s in my time. My official PB is 54.2 and I've done 52.5 in a relay leg. So that seems a different world apart now. I think if I try and do that, I would probably explode. Anyway, I might be racing Matt to Freitas, and we've had a few good battles over the years. He's a sub four miler, and uh, he should be a uh, favourite, I think, but uh, well, a favourite to beat me anyway. But we'll see how we go, and uh, yeah, have a bit of fun with this. So here I am doing a couple of strides. I did two first in the speeds for about 200, then a 150, and then moved into spikes. It's really conscious I'm not trying to do any damage to myself here. Hamstring pull. So here we go. There's six of us in the race. I was in lane three. Matt DeFroy just inside me in lane two. And I got a good start, actually. And then by this point here, with my camera, my second camera, that is, at the 100 meter point, and I'm in well in the lead. I felt I actually looked like I'm going quite fast here, but like days of old. Reasonable arm drive and getting the legs up a bit. Let's have another look at that in slow motion. Yeah, so I'm quite proud of this bit the pity that Matt sort of caught up with me and went past me with about 150 to go I'd say he, he, he beat me by about a second but I think he was being a bit cagey because he was also doing the mile later on much like not to bother so here we are Matt there in yellow me black and the guy in Epsom in lane one in third so we were quite far ahead of the next three but it was quite a nice competitive race for a change so 400 done I think it was banging on the club record but I'm not sure whether it's going to be just outside I think I've self-timed just a fraction out, but I might have stopped my watch late, so it'll go down to the tents, I'm sure. But yeah, I was sort of in the lead for some of it, and then Matt Freitas, canny old opponent, sub four miler, just got had a bit more in the tank down the home straight. So in the end, I think he won fair and square, but I felt I did as best as I could there. Didn't tie up as much as I thought I was going to do down the home straight, so I was pleased with that, yeah. Nice little bit of fun. So I'll pitch out with Matt. Oh Matt, how did you find that? 
Not too bad, thanks, mate. Yeah, yeah, well. I was pacing off you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you had a bit yeah. of a lead at one point. I don't know. If I you... thought, yeah, I thought, well, no point in hanging around oh, yeah. the 400, is there? <laughs> no, you. I'm so sure I only that one to do. So I did uh, get a bit worried about 200. To yeah, go. yeah. I was thinking, well, <laughs> I didn't tap as much on the home straight as I thought, but uh, not enough to uh, give you uh, a bit of a scare. But yeah. Oh, sorry, don't I? So you're going to do the mile next, eh? Yes, mate, yeah. 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 And the long jump. And not bloody. Oh, <laughs> we can survive one piece then. <laughs> well done. So Gina, how was the lactate down the home straight? Oh, pretty, pretty intense. Pretty intense. I think the problem with you, you had a couple of proper sprinters in your race, whereas my one, it was sort of like a load of old middle distance runners trying to wobble around as best as we could. But, uh, that was really tough. Yeah, it looked it. It was always a bit of fun though, because it's only one lap. Psychologically, I felt like I need to warm up harder than the actual race, you know, to be yeah, really ready to go. But uh, on the other hand, I was sort of being cautious not to actually pull anything and get round and live for another day. I've That's saved myself problem. for the mile. Yeah. And we've got to get together for a sub five or ten, because we've yeah. had a couple of five twos. And uh, I think in a 1500, I've out dipped you a couple of times. In the 10k, you thrash me. So, uh, yeah. yeah. Are you doing the homage 10k on Sunday? No. No, okay. See you in Battersea. See you in Battersea. Yeah, that'll be close actually, I think. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I can see if I can get under 18.30. That's, that's kind of my aim. Yeah, right, well done. Right. <laughs> Let's have a quick look at the stats. Here's the Strava. I was using Track Run on the Garmin, setting my Garmin to lane three seems to have worked quite well. I got 410 meters and I think I deliberately stopped it slightly late. So you can see here that no wonder I was looking quite good earlier on because Strava tends to sort of smooth out the pace a bit, but certainly for about the first 20 three seconds or something like that i was sort of sub four pace and you can see my cadence there started off really high like the 220s on just to get going and then it was basically getting a slower cadence throughout the race i was tying up although it was holding just above 200 there until the home straight when it sort of tops tying up a bit and what did i stop at one nine 194 looks like it was the lowest i got to and you can see that the pace here it's sort of like it was starting off at sub four pace then i don't know how accurate it is because there's a bit of uh obviously noise in this data but it sort of almost got back to five minute mile and then down the home straight i was still doing about 440 or so so you could definitely see it's sort of a game of two halves and if you look at the 200 mark yeah i was probably say i was through 200 and about 31 on the stagger i say something like that so yeah Maybe there's a sub-60 in me if I were to take it more <laughs> seriously. But uh, yeah, not really a distance that i am uh, got too many ambitions at, to be fair. I've got so many other distances that I'd ought to be doing better action though, really. Average cadence there, 205. Average heart rate, 131. Obviously not going to get your heart rate up very high in the 400. I mean, I think what was what did I peak at? I haven't said that. It peaked at 147, you know, in just over a minute. If you have a look at some of the Garmin stats, I always think stride length is quite interesting. Did I manage to get actually to a two meter stride length? Yeah, I did actually there for a very short period there once I've accelerated. So that's always a good number to see. I usually see more like one meter. So that's pretty what did look like I was actually going quite fast. Vertical oscillation well, it was about seven, 6.9 centimeters there and its lowest point when I was going the fastest power this is garmin power of course got a maximum there of what six five five something like that ground contact time that was the lowest point when i was going the fastest about one four three looks like i got down to there so yeah that was good if you have a look on the 400 meter m55 rankings so far obviously i haven't got my time up yet but uh, the top runner is actually chris taplin used to be a former club mate of mine so I actually know him a bit so that's amazing that he's running 57 and 53 and where would i slot in so 67.8 i would currently be 43rd let's see how that compares with my 800 meters so yeah i'm a bit higher at 800 as you might expect 26 there let's have a look at 1500 this is uk rankings by the way for m55s so i haven't actually done a proper 1500 yet this is my 500 split in the mile 50742 41st place what is my best distance this year 5k road let's have a look at that um, i imagine i'm going to be well down this goes on to run britain rankings yeah there i am 76 equal so yeah it's the top 100 in the country and if we look at the marathon i hope i'm a bit higher there where are my 259 52 well, there's another guy that did 259 52 so i'm 72nd equal so yeah well inside the top 100 in quite a few different events 
And they've also got the mile as well to add. And also, have I done a 10k yet? Oh, I've done a half marathon. Where am I at a half marathon? Here we go, half marathon. What did I do? 88 something. Oh, yeah, I'm not inside the top 100. Top 200 even. Where am I? Where am I? There we go. 227. So, yeah, that was that freezing day, but it's minus 5. So, yeah, not one of my best runs. 10 miles. I've done a 10 mile race. 66... 17 85th so as you see i've got quite a few range of events this year also i've got the mile as well 16th mile on the track obviously not so many people do the mile i've also done a 3000 on the track that's probably not so good 11 22.1 63rd so yeah it looks like on rankings in major events i think my 800 is is my best but the 400 was quite credible wasn't it for sure so yeah i've got a good range of events from 400 to marathon and I've got a 10k coming up on Sunday, so that would be good to register a 10k. Can't unfortunately put the five miles in from the Claygate 5 because it's uh, not a licensed race, unfortunately. And I haven't done a park run yet either. So, yeah, a few more events to do. If we look on age grading here using the Howard Grubb page with the World Masters Association 2015 factors, so let's throw in a 400 age 56 at 67.8 and we get 76 percent that's not too bad is it and then 227.9 in the 800 yeah 82.66 so yeah definitely better at 800 than 400 aren't they? but not bad for a, a marathon runner doing a 400 as well Exactly. Oh, very 